Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel and is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help out a little more, try to get yourself a mug or a sticker or a tote bag, you can head over to my Patreon. Link will be in the description. So in today's video, we're going to be going over vintage collectible and rare Zippos and what are they worth. I wanted to make this video so people wouldn't overpay. And please stick around to the end. I have some very rare Zippos on here that are for sale on eBay right now. You do not want to miss this. This Marlboro Zippo has six days left on the bid. It's only at $14 right now. But it's a, it's a gold-plated one, like a gold dust finish over it. Uh, they don't make them anymore because it's Marlboro. Uh, it's 2004. It's a good Zippo. You're probably going to see this. I'm watching it. I want to see where it ends up. I think it's going to end up around 50 bucks. This is a 90s Venetian. Uh, there's four days left on the bidding. It's at 15 bucks basically right now. I can't see it ending anywhere higher than 25 I'd be very surprised if it ever got to 30 but that's all it's really worth. I see them going for a lot higher, but this is a fair eBay listing, and uh, the bidding seems to be going just fine. There's lots of good deals on here, and as you watch further in the video, you're going to see. So this is a Harley Davidson, 1995. There's six days left on the bidding. It's at 20 bucks right now. I think this is gonna get to around 50 bucks. Uh, this is a a popular Zippo. People like the engine. It's got the brass plate on the front too, so it's an extra heavy Zippo. Uh, it looks really good. And like I said, I see it going for 50, but if this might sell around 30 to 35. I expected this to be way higher for there only being one day left, but maybe the, they're like sleeper betting and their highest price is out and they're just waiting. But uh, for $9 right now for an unfired racing camel Joe lighter with tin box, everything good condition. Uh, if this lighter, uh, this lighter should be selling for about 70 bucks or something like that. But if, if this only goes for $20, $30 or something by the end of the day, I'm going to be watching this. I suggest everyone else too. I would be very surprised. And then there's another one too. It's got a different design. It's a different Zippo, but one of the same series there. And it's only at 13 bucks right now. And there's only one day left on that too. I'm going to be watching them both. But uh, like I said, these tend to go for 75 to $85 regularly. Like I've seen them sell that much a lot of the time. So I'm very surprised to see this. And uh, if no one's betting on it, I'm going to be watching these. So this 83 Zippo Slim USS Joseph Hughes FF. The Zippo here, it's going for six bucks. There's four days left. Uh, I could see it. I could probably see it selling anywhere between 25, 30 bucks. Uh, and, you know, I'd probably value it at around 50 because uh, this is one from the ship. Uh, this isn't just one you'd order from Zippo at the time. Uh, so this one's a really cool one, and I'm surprised to see it this low and uh, not as many bids on it yet. There's a lot of these naval ship collector Zippos out there, and they uh, the, those collectors really love these Zippos. So you can definitely see this going, and I'll be watching that. All right, this vintage 1995 Camel lighter, uh, it's labeled here as super rare. Uh, it's, it's actually not that rare. It's pretty common, but it is a great lighter. It's at $32 already. Uh, there's six days left, and... Like I see this sell for seventy five hundred bucks all the time, and it's always in between. It's depending on condition and what it comes with. But this one doesn't come with box, and it is in used condition, so I don't see it going too much higher than this. Like this probably end up fifty dollars or something like that. But it's a very cool Zippo, and I'm gonna be watching this just to see where it does end up at because I do that a lot, and I suggest everyone else too because that's how you get a good idea is what Zippos are worth because watch what they're selling for. Like what they've sold for, not what they're listed as. Now, this is a very cool Zippo. This is a vintage 1950s USS Conserver. I'm pretty sure this uh, ship was helping out uh, during the Korean War. Uh, this is a very cool Zippo. Uh, it's only at 19 bucks right now. Uh, I could, there's five days left. I could see it probably ending up around, you know, uh, anywhere between 35 to 50 bucks. It's really hard to say how bad people want this Zippo. Uh, it's definitely well worth it. Uh, I'd even I'd even value it a little higher. I'd say even worth, you know, 60 to 75 range. But I want to see where this ends up. And for anyone who wants those uh, vintage 70s and older Zippos, don't overpay. Look at this one here for $6. Few days left. Zero, uh, what is that? Zero bids or one bids? I can't see. One bid. That's at $6. I don't see this thing selling for more than 15, 20 bucks, and that's it. That's all it should be worth. And from the next few images here, you're going to see exactly that. You can get a lot of vintage Zippos for pretty cheap. 
like that other one was used and this one's new old stock like brand new mint in box 1977 26 bucks uh, five days left i don't see it going for more than 35 to 45 bucks maybe even 50 i'm gonna be watching it to see but like that's that's all this zippo is worth really unstruck in box uh so watch this and like i said people you go on ebay you're gonna find what you want be patient and just look for the best price and if it's not the best price don't buy it another one will come up you don't have to worry about that now look at this zippo it's a 1982 stomping at la it's got an insert and everything like that it's in pretty fair condition and it, there's no bids on it it's at 12 dollars I don't see this. I don't see the Zippo selling for maybe even. It might even go for fifteen. That's about it. Twenty bucks. But for anybody who wants uh, something from the eighties, seventies, like you don't, you don't have to break the bank to do it. As long as you're not picky, you'll get something from around that time. And this Zippo here too, another eighty three, going for cheap. But you're going to be able to pick this up cheap. But make sure you stick around to the end because I got thirty fives that are for sale right now on here. Thirty eights. A uh, bunch of 40s and 50s Zippos, rare vintage ones. You're gonna see these on here. You're gonna be, your mind's gonna be blown, and people are gonna be watching these, and uh, you can make some money off these Zippos because they're gonna be selling for cheap. So make sure you stick around to the end to see these Zippos. They're coming up right now. So oh, I'm getting right into all the classics here. Even Zippos from the 60s. This one's a, a heavy use. Uh, it's what does that say $12 there's five days left six days left the zippo is going to go for pretty cheap and then it, here's another 60 zippos uh it's a uh, old fried and ink calculators one that, that's pretty cool collectible and it's going for cheap too and uh, by the time these bids are over i don't see these selling for more than 25 30 bucks and that's all they're worth and anybody who wants these older vintage lighters that are kind of collectible you're going to find them on ebay you just got to dig look at this caterpillar this has got to be a 1949 this thing it's brass with chrome it's an original caterpillar uh zippo like this is probably one of the first caterpillar zippos ever made uh, zippos like this do not come up for sale often and it's going for fairly cheap uh, by the time the bids are over too like i see maybe you know up 40 50 bucks i'd, pro I'd probably honestly pay more for it and all the chrome is worn off and you can see here it's like that all over the lighter it's basically a brass lighter i would just polish this up make it look brand new it even has the original nickel silver insert you want a 1949 and you're willing to drop 50 bucks for one and if it, it's a caterpillar too like this thing's only going to go up in value this thing's only going to go up in price that's worth way more than that this zippo i have issues with he had it listed as a 38 and then he changed the title to a 37 or something like that and it's a it's, it's a steel zippo but what he doesn't realize is there was no steel made zippos in 1937 or 1938 so why is he why is he saying it's a steel zippo i have no idea it doesn't make sense to me uh what he has here what he doesn't realize is probably a 52 or a 53 uh and it doesn't have the chrome on it anymore it looks like it looks like it's just polished steel uh but i could be wrong i don't know that that could be just the chrome but uh i have no idea it also doesn't have the original insert that's just a later years insert i think that's like a 70s insert or something like that uh i didn't really look into it but it's definitely not the original insert that would have came in that case uh and so just you you got to beware guys you got to really look into things when you're buying them and so for a steel case zippo if it's an authentic steel case zippo it for 20 bucks it probably ends up at 50 that's a good deal like look at this 1950s steel case zippo that went up because buddy actually knew what it was it went for 70 bucks that's a fair price for that it didn't have the original insert either or anything like that so you have to watch out this zippo right here in 1949 patent pending niagara falls ontario zippo 100 percent authentic with authentic insert inside but the cam spring is broken there is heavy wear on the insert it's very bad shape uh the zippo it had a ton of things wrong with it i i wanted to buy it so bad i do not have a 1949 niagara falls i wanted this thing but i would not i i would just i wouldn't i wouldn't bet on it when i seen it get over a hundred dollars like that because of how bad a shape the zippos actually and i don't have the pictures but it was in very bad shape and it went for 178 dollars so that just tells you that how rare that zippo is and then this one 1946 1947 nickel silver case zippo with the matching insert 
this thing went for $361. Like, that is insane. Somebody really, a few people really, really wanted that lighter. I've seen them go for way cheaper. But if you want one, that's the kind of stuff you got to put up with. And you got to be willing to pay it. Guys, anybody who wants this, anybody who is interested in this, you have to jump on this now. I seldomly ever see a Zippo like this come for sale on eBay. Now, mind you, he has it listed as a 3536. It says patent pending on the bottom. They didn't put patent pending on 35s and 36s. So this is, has to be a late 33 or a 1934. This Zippo does not have the original hinge on it. It has been tampered with and uh, remade. It does not have an insert either. Now, this Zippo, because of what it is, this thing can go if you if you got this you brought it home you put on a you got a 35 replica you took off the hinge on it you put that hinge on this and then you waited and you eventually found an insert to go with it as rare and hard as they are to find but if you did and you put it in there then this thing basically restored man and it's ready to rock and in that condition that thing would easily easily be worth uh, you know, anywhere between 700 to a thousand bucks, like 33, 34, man, those just don't come up. And to see one on eBay is a truly magical thing. I just, I, I, I am watching this like a hawk. There's only one day left people. I suggest we all watch and see what this goes for, because now it's, it's only selling 50 bucks right now. And I could see it going, I could see this thing going for a hundred, 200, 300 bucks as is easily i don't know but i'm going to be watching this if this thing goes for 100 under 100 what a steal because the guy who puts the time in to restore that and find the original insert and sell that it, it, you're gonna get you're gonna get some money man you're gonna you're gonna make your money back and then some uh so everyone take care thanks a lot for watching my video stay tuned for more if you have any questions please ask in the comments take care everyone thank you very much